Alright, time to do something. I don't even know. Hey, yeah, Agrid. Can't talk now, I'm busy wandering around aimlessly. Gotta get more beans. Especially the ones with the bumblebee butt pattern. What's over here? Off the broomstick training, Potter. Don't be late. How does he know my schedule? At least he was helpful. Come back when you're big enough to fly a broomstick. But I already had a lesson. Go to your lessons, Potter. Quidditch isn't for first years. Fuck you. I read the book and I know how it unfolds. Let's see if Hagrid wants anything. There you are. I hope you did well in your herbology class. I've got something I need to talk to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your broomstick training. Off you go. If Harry or any other student was following Hagrid somewhere, and Hagrid farted, their face would be at eye level with his butt crack. How dreadful. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious Remembrol. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> Did those two just laugh with the Did same single me? voice? Come on then, Potter! Where do these broomsticks come from? Give me back Neville's Remembrol, Malfoy. You want the remember all back? See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers! Harry, why the fuck didn't you just beat his ass when Draco led you to this obstacle course on foot? It's not like Crab and Goyle were following you to protect Draco. God damn it, where did he get bludgers from anyways? Was all the school's Quidditch equipment protected by one Alahomora spell? This tough talk kid groans like a pussy. Oh, so he has more than two bludgers now. What the fuck? <laughs> so he just tumbled away straight through the air without actually falling down? Wait, you have your own broomstick now? Oh, thanks for letting me borrow a different one. At least the cutscene handled the potentially difficult task of catching the Remembrall so I wouldn't have to try and do it myself with the mouse and keyboard. You've got my Remembrall back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Wait, how does a Remembrall help you find something? I remember now. I left Trevor near the Herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads! Or does it actually jog your memory somehow? Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although Wait, I do you're introducing yourself to me now? About, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Thanks. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Double thanks. Harry? Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. Uh, See you then. Thanks. Wait, what? What the fuck? What the fucking shit just happened? Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, holy shit. First of all, she didn't look too much like McGonagall from the movie. Maybe it's because she's not wearing a witch's hat, though. I don't know. I think that was a wrong turn. Oh, what the fuck? I can't go back? Jesus Christ. But anyways, where was I? Secondly, the slideshow from the beginning of the game showed you placing the sorting hat in my head, so the first year students must have at least known your name by that point. I can't get over this log? Oh, of course. 
How do I get up there? Not that way. Wait, how fucking stupid am I? I just cast Elahimora from down here and it will drop the contents to the ground. Except somehow I can't aim that high above my own head for some reason. God damn it. I hate when I cast a spell and it just misses somehow. What the shit? It's not just like a one-time thing either. It happens often. Looks like there's a cave there too. So where was I? Thirdly, I'm in Gryffindor House myself. You're telling me that even if Harry wasn't paying attention during the sorting process and didn't listen to whatever self-introduction and quick speech McGonagall gave to the students before they had all stepped into the Great Hall to be sorted, that he somehow doesn't know who his own head of house is? What the fuck are these things anyways? Fire slugs? It sort of reminds me of the Pokemon Meg Cargo. Anyways, fourth. I've had absolutely no Quidditch training ever. In fact, I probably only learned about Quidditch on the train right over here, and that was maybe yesterday, I guess. I only know the very basics at this point. Unless more than one day's worth of time has passed since then, which seems unlikely since it still feels like we're still getting through the first of each of our classes. Oh man, now what? Well, that's amusing. Okay, enough of that. No, I didn't mean to climb back up there, Harry. <sighs> Let's see. Fifth! None of the other players have had a chance to do some practice and get used to Quidditch training for this year, because some of them might not have had the ability to keep their skills sharpened over the summer with practice, like the Weasley twins can do at their own house. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going anyways? So I can't flipendo this log out of the way or jump over it. God, I feel dumb. Okay, fine. That is embarrassing. <sighs> Sixth. Even if I was used to playing Quidditch and all that, if a new member joins a team, both the new member and the rest of the team need to practice TOGETHER to get used to how they will communicate and work with each other in the most effective manner during a match. Did that jewel-encrusted tortoise just shit a flaming log at me? God damn, I swear aiming is harder than it looks in this game. Yeah, maybe it's shitting out flaming gas or flaming liquid. That doesn't seem like a solid projectile. Tortoise ever shut the fuck up? Jeez. Oh, seventh. Did you not have a seeker beforehand? Apparently Gryffindor was scheduled to play against Slytherin ahead of time, and you didn't have a seeker before you talked to me. What were you planning on doing? Playing with only six people and hoping that the chasers would somehow score more than 150 points before the Slytherins and their seeker got the golden snitch? What the hell? Or, if you did have a Seeker this whole time, then they, presumably a seasoned player, just got booted in favor of an inexperienced first year. Alright. Cast Flipendo at the tree. Okay then, that's one way to get around a forest. Fuck you! The stump's in the way, I can't see a shitting thing. Huh. 
It really would be nice if I could strafe to the side instead of having to use my mouse to turn around and then just hit forward to go in whatever direction I want. Do I really need a second sign to teach me what to do with a dead tree again? I think I can remember how to do it from the first time you showed me, thank you very much. Okay, these walls of tree images sitting on top of this rock in the middle. Couldn't you have just left that out and put one actual tree in the middle instead? Or, if you don't want people climbing up there to make jumping from log to log any easier, just get rid of the rock entirely. Hey, that's the hollowed out log tunnel thingy from earlier that I walked through. Unless it resets its position automatically after a bit of time, I just made this whole long pathway that I just took impassable for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I remember these fucking things. How could I forget? I had to deal with these shitheads for the last two episodes now. I guess you could say that that vine lasted six seconds. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, this shit, where the spell aims properly but somehow still misses the target, is so fucking annoying. And yet I can't believe the mouse control is even more irritating than that, though, since this hit-or-miss spellcasting is already pretty bad. Oh, it's a waterfall. I thought it started raining outside. Terrible place to keep a collector's card. What if it gets water damage? Although maybe there's a spell for fixing that. This would be such a cool place to hide or hang out. A cave with neon blue and purple lighting. Makes me horny. I swear I saw something here. Like... I glanced through the stone wall and saw another part of the level on the other side. Great, now I can't recreate what I thought I saw for a split second. There! I thought I saw it. There it is again. Alright, enough of that. That was amazing. And you don't even need an incantation to do it. Maybe the wand is just bad. It does share a core with Voldemort's wand, after all. Who would want this shit? Why does it have to pick me? Can I even get up here? If not, what was the point of this elevated area? Nothing, I guess. I don't see a chest back there that would have been hidden behind the spiky bushes. Hurry! Over here! Come along then, I have something to show you about. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. Oh, don't even get me started on that sudden revelation again. 
Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Could you not you remind me of such things? Jeez, have a little sensitivity, why don't you? It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. So you can't just get fire seeds yourself because you need to watch the egg. Even though I met you outside just a minute ago when you were out here doing something else. <sighs> Fine, let's do this. I feel like I've been playing for a while now. Sometimes I record one long thing and then split it into multiple episodes. And this video file has episodes 3, 4, and 5 in it. And Where am I going anyways? I guess this way doesn't look like where I came from. Did that... Did that thing fucking kill me in one hit? No, 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 not again. I draw the line here for now. I'm, I'm done playing. I'm... No. No, not again. I'll, I'll retry later.